Hey y'all, got another Rustin update. Um, he's been in pain all night. We both were up. I called the vet, um, well, his, his initial vet, and asked about medication options, like increasing his dose or um, something more potent or something. And they were like, basically, there's nothing more that we can do, so you may want to consider euthanizing him. I didn't respond very well to that, and um, they recommended that I call the surgeon's office, which I did. And I talked with a the tech there who also said that, and actually explained to me about the kinds of pain that he has and the medications uses and letting me know that because it very likely is osteosarcoma, um, the bone has been eaten away, basically. Osteosarcoma is a bone cancer where um, the, the cancer begins to um, eat the bone and replace the bone with itself. Sounds science fiction-y, doesn't it? Um, and so... The pain that he's experiencing, um, he's like biting on on his hip, and it's it's red and it's raw. Um, but the kind of pain that he's experiencing may not be just like a surface pain, uh, a lidocaine patch or a fentanyl patch or anything like that. Wouldn't be good one because the skin is broken, two because he, we wouldn't be able to guarantee that it would stay on, even if I got him a hood. Um, so. She talked to me about um, that basically if medication doesn't work, that I need to consider quality of life, which we all know what that means, and also suggested euthanasia, but also helped me to figure out how I can stagger his medication or layer it so that he's not having these doses where one runs out or where they both run out at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do for now. I'm going to um, go with this, the, the schedule that we sketched out for pacing his medications. Um, I'm also going to work on distraction because, if you can hear him, um, if I give him ice cream, <laughs> if I give him a snack or a big chew, he can eat it and enjoy it right now. Um yeah. So there's also no more sadness around Rustin so that he doesn't pick up, up on my sadness. And um, we can keep him as as even and as happy as he can be. Um, but I can't listen to him in agony and I can't witness it and I can't distract it away. So it's possible that if things don't get better today or tomorrow, um, that I very likely will have to have Rustin put down. So. Send prayers and love and all that stuff. And um, y'all take care.